Hello everybody, this is Jason Onks here at Onks Woodwind Specialist. Uh, recently we posted a written blog on our website uh, answering the question, do I need to seal my octave vents? And in short, yes you do. Uh, we feel that uh, octave vents uh, have a, a chance of leaking um, just from the nature of how they're made. And so uh, we feel that once you clean your octave vents and your oboe, that they do need to be sealed. And so we're going to do uh, this video um, and show you how to do that. So kind of as a follow-up to our first blog. This video in particular uh, would be for uh, college students or professionals. So if you're playing the oboe a lot, uh, you're going to be a professional um, in the future. Or if you're currently a prof professional and you're playing the oboe hours and hours every day, at some point you're going to need to clean your octave vents. Uh, bef uh, without sending it into a, an oboe repair shop. Um, there's going to be times when you'll need to do that on your own. And so you need to, to learn how to seal the octave vents. Uh, first you need to learn how to clean them and then seal them. And so this video is for you guys. Uh, if you're in high school, just kind of starting out, or middle school, I wouldn't worry about this too much right now. Uh, just spend a lot of time learning how to play your oboe really great and then um, you can learn learn how to do the cleaning and other maintenance items and sealing the octave vents uh, later in life. So um, what you will need uh, to do this, to make it really easy, uh, you can purchase an alcohol lamp. And so this is an alcohol lamp. They're usually glass base, And then uh, the screw on top with a wick that goes through the center. Um, there are several different places you can buy these probably on Amazon or eBay or wherever. You may cost you about five bucks or ten bucks, but if, uh, if you're a professional and you'll be doing this quite often, this is a worth your investment. Uh, this will make it a lot easier. And so alcohol lamps uh, burn denatured alcohol, so you'll purchase that at your local hardware store. Um, just go get the denatured SLX denatured alcohol, and then you'll put some in here. And then once the wick has completely uh, soaked up the alcohol, uh, you can light it. And then uh, you'll see that it's a very clean burn. There's no like black smoke or anything like that. And um, that allows you to heat up uh, your screwdriver blade, which is going to help you do this. Next, you'll need uh, some type of wax. Uh, traditionally, uh, beeswax has been used for many, many years. Um, I'm a youngster in the business, so maybe that's because beeswax was readily available in the past. Um, but nowadays, we have paraffin wax, and so I do use that in my shop. Uh, paraffin wax can be purchased at any, most any of your grocery stores, uh, local grocery store in the canning aisle. And if you buy a box of uh, paraffin wax, that'll last you the rest of your life. Uh, it's, it's just a lot of wax. And so I've actually just melted a bunch in a little Altoid 10 can, container because um, I go through a lot of it, uh, sealing Octavents here in our shop. And um, so I've got it there. Uh, if, if you know, don't have any paraffin wax and don't want to buy it and have beeswax, uh, feel free to do so. Uh, just know that uh, beeswax uh, can be sticky, so if there's any excess and it gets on the pads, uh, it can be very sticky and, and you can start having other issues uh, with your uh, pads and mechanism, etc. Uh, you'll also need a screwdriver. So I have this, this little screwdriver blade. It's bigger than the typical screwdriver that comes with an oboe when you buy an oboe. Um, but even that screwdriver that came with your oboe when you bought it uh, would probably work. So just a small screwdriver. Um, so those are the items that you will need. Of course, you'll need a lighter as well to, to light the flame. And um, I have a few other tools that I use here in our shop because we seal a lot of octave vents and so we want to make that process a little faster. And so um, we have other tools that I'll show you here in just a moment as we start learning how to do this. So without further ado, um, here we go. We'll learn how to seal the octave vents on your oboe. Okay, now that we have all the correct tools to seal our octave vents, I'm going to show you guys how um, I, would, I would seal the vents with the tools that you may have uh, in your oboe studio or at your home. 
and then I'll show you how I seal them here in our shop where we have uh, um, different tools. So uh, first we'll uh, take the, the cap off of your alcohol lamp and get that going. Light it with a uh, lighter there and uh, it has denatured alcohol in it so it burns very clean. So after we do that the next thing I'll do is I have the screwdriver that I'm going to use to help me do this and um, so go ahead and start warming it up in the flame and I dip the hot screwdriver blade into my paraffin wax and I'll go ahead and you know, get some on there and then right away can even uh, heat it up again real quick and then bring that down on top of the octave vent and I can see that it's filling in the space between the wood and the octave vent and now I'll go back and re warm the screwdriver up dip it in the wax again and then the same thing and immediately I can see it falling down into the space and this you just repeat over and over until it looks like you have wax all the way around the octave vent. Okay, and so at this point, you probably can't see too good on the video, but at this point, it looks like to me I've got that all the way around. Now if you want to really ensure that it's completely sealed and filled down in that space, I'll come back now with the screwdriver blade and heat it up a little bit warmer than normal and then I'll just place that hot blade right there on the the edge of the vent and what I'm doing is transferring heat to the metal octave vent which allows the wax that's there to continue to fall further into that space and if you do that a few times and you, you heat the octave vent up, you will see the, the wax um, melt and it'll settle further down into that space. And when you do that, you know you've got a really great seal. So I'm just going around with my screwdriver blade and just holding it on the metal at several different spots so that that wax really melts and falls down into the space between the wood and the octave vent and completely uh, fills that area so that it seals the octave vent or seals the space around the octave vent. Okay, so I feel fairly certain that uh, that's a good, a good seal and so now there's um, can't really see on the video but uh, there's a lot of excess on the outside and so that's not needed anymore and so now I'll just come with a paper towel and I'll wipe the excess away from the top of that octave vent and sometimes you can even use a q-tip so I've got a q-tip here and I'm just going around the edges And what that leaves you with is a nice clean octave vent and the wood on top is nice and clean. Yet the space between the wood and the octave vent is completely filled with the wax that you just melted in there. So that's a, a beautiful job and that's something that you can easily do on your own. All right, so how we do it here in the shop, beside the alcohol lamp, I've got my acetylene torch it's a little hotter flame. You can see it's nice and pointy and blue. And so what I have here is my round piece of brass tubing that I made a fancy one and, and put it a little handle on it. But you can see that's a round piece of brass tubing essentially. And what I can do with this, um, you know, for anybody that's going to do this a lot, this would be beneficial. Um, 
and so I made this tool. But I heat that brass up in my, my hot acetylene flame and then again back in the wax. And because it's round, I just set it, let me see, on the, uh, octa over the octave vent. And now I'm actually filling that space all the way around all at one time. And I'm just rocking it around just to make sure that that wax uh, is distributed everywhere. And then I'll come back and heat it up one more time. And again, just like I uh, transferred the heat with a screwdriver blade, I'm going to transfer the heat with my brass tubing. And so I'm just going to hold it on there for a few seconds. And I can see that that whole area, the wax is completely uh, liquid. So I know it's hot enough. And I can see by rotating it around that there is wax all the way around it. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna, I'll stop heating it up and let it uh, cool down. And I can, uh, I can see that the wax is all the way around. And after that cools in just a moment, blow on it real quick, that'll help a little bit. Now I'm gonna do the same procedure. I'm gonna come back with my, my paper towel and I'm gonna whack, uh, wipe away any excess. And there you have it. We um, have a beautiful sealed octave vents. Uh, whether you use uh, brass tubing and do it faster or you use the uh, screwdriver blade with your uh, alcohol lamp at your home. Both of those methods are uh, quite acceptable and you'll do a, a great job sealing those vents, ensuring that the, the vents do not leak between the vent and the wood. For other articles and information that uh, we've written about or done videos, please visit our website at www.onxws.com. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Thank you for your attention today, and we look forward to serving you soon.